Let's get into it. Ah. Ma'am. Howdy. That's so loud. Are we there yet, Freddy? Almost. There we go. It sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Your contract ends on the 21st? What contract? What are you talking about? Open? I think a five gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go. Your job contract? At least seven gallons, Freddy. Phone contracts? Your job before. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, it's pretty sad. Did you just find that out, or is that something you've known about for a while? Hogfish, rustlers. Oh, I didn't even get to read it. Alright. Let's uh, figure out what we gotta do here. There's Cousin Calico's ranch. I'm raring to go. You have got eight arms. Hi, Cousin Calico. Oh, hello, Freddy. Howdy, Luther. We're ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, my problem. No, but for some time, it's not the day gotcha. Rustled. Rustled? What the Yeah, it's a, it's a shitty situation to be in, man. Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No. Is there any chance at all, like, to get off you a new contract or extend it? I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Squirt pot, gotcha. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. Yo, a sea urchin. Let's grab that bad boy. Look, Freddy! A purple sea urchin! Although in the last game, sea urchins only led to a minigame. So I don't know if I need that. Here we are in Briny's Gulch. This must be the town square. Let's go ask some of the people who live here. Even on good terms. Yeah, that's always good. Do you got any uh, other plans, or you gotta start looking for stuff? Customers, <clears throat> hello and welcome to Just Buckles. I'm Nelson Toso. How can I help you today? I'm Freddy, and this is Luther, and we're helping my cousin Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers. Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. What are these plans? No, oh, those are the blueprints for the custom belt buckles I make. They feature a stylish arching metal back with a personalized letter on the front. Any letter the customer wants. I'll bet they look nice. No, oh, they're very popular. Yeah, I gotcha. <laughs> What's that big thing? I thought you only made buckles. Hey. Oh, that that's um it's a personal project. Nothing important. Is that what I think it is? It think. Oh. Maybe this is a clue. It's a clue. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. 926. I'll bet the Rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. We'll hang on to it. 
That combination must be important. They must be important. Howdy, youngsters. I'm Saltwater Stella, owner and operator of the Soda Loon. What can I do for you? We wanted to ask you if you've seen any rustlers around here lately. Rustlers? Well, there were a couple of suspicious characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Thank you. I don't think I need to play a mini game. Right. <gasps> yeah. Hi. It's me. Listen. I want to talk to you about that note. I don't think it's a different color. It's a nice kind of pale blue color. Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. I'm Ape! Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go up here and I can go to the right there as well. Cool beans. Road closed due to construction. Back shortly. How is it down to construction? Can't you just go over it? Uh. Yeah. Combine all the Freddy Fish games have sold over 2.5 million copies. And it's a different time. Come on, let's check out that hatch. Okay. Oh. This shouldn't be too hard. We just have to punch in the combination. Nine, one, two, nine, eight, seven, six. <laughs> we did it! It's open! Hey, it's open. Boy, I'll say! I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Concern it! What's that racket? Someone's coming! Hurry! Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. Must be one of the rustlers. I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. It's rustlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be rustlers. How do you know we're not rustlers? I need the belt buckle. You're not dressed like rustlers. If you were a rustler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine, a belt buckle like mine, mm -hmm. and a fashionable bandana. All rustlers dress exactly alike? Yep, we all wear the latest rustler gear. You can see from this picture in Rustlemania magazine. Hmm. <laughs> Rustlemania. A purple 10-gallon hat, a big old belt buckle with an S on it, and a bandana. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be rustlers, so you can't come in, because this hideout is for rustlers only. Okay, thank you. Got me there. This is the rustler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. Can we just go up? Oh, we can go... Let's go up. Well, I get up spy that in there again. I wanna kind of go up here. No. Hmm. Yeah. All right, 
you hogfish. Quiet down or else. Or else I'm calling Mr. Big. <gasps> Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. We can go ask about the belt buckle. I think he'll probably want something first, but... So this is what we need. How much would it cost to have a custom belt buckle made? Well, seeing as how you said you're Calico's cousin and all, I'd do the job for free if you brought me the materials. What kind of materials would we need to bring you for a belt buckle? Well, a humongous t-shirt? I, well, I don't think I'm good. Look at these blueprints. I've got enough t-shirts. If you brought me a piece of metal shaped like this for the back, and a letter to go on the front, I could make you a buckle using my professional buckle-making equipment. That seems simple enough. Well, the part where I actually make the buckle requires years of training and lots of expensive tools. But you wouldn't have to worry about that. Okay. <laughs> there are not too many different ways to go. So there's hats there, but it's not hats you can actually get. I let you go all the way back, which is kind of weird here. <clears throat> yeah, I had a couple uh, putt putt games, and then like. There's someone was like yelling outside, <laughs> like the street. I had like one Pajama Sam game, and I had one Freddy Fish game. And I just played a whole bunch of demos that came on each disc. Nah, it's just a little thing you can interact with. Cousin Calico, we saw one of the rustlers. You did? They're at the old ship, the Rusty Rustler. That's good work, both of you. Any sign of the hogfish? I'm sure the hogfish are there too. We could get inside and rescue them if we looked more like rustlers. Dress like rustlers, eh? That sounds like a good plan. But how do you know what a rustler looks like? Oh, we have a picture. Oh, good. All right. I just need to find another way to go. Different path. Maybe that construct. Oh, the construction thing's open now. It looks like. Okay, sweet. I guess whoever was working here is done now. Well, so there's only so many ways you can go here. That's a nice screwdriver you have there. Thanks. Do you think we could borrow it for a while? No, we might need it to work on this dance floor. Maybe later when it's finished. Okay. Well, that's how we get the, uh... Say, is that a bandana you've got there? Sure is. Very handy. Although sometimes I wish I had something sturdier to carry my gear in. Mm -hmm. Whatever you're cooking smells good. It's a Harris Slim special super stew. My own recipe. Oh, <laughs> not quite ready. What a guy. Free wood. Oh boy, I see another purple sea urchin. Well, I don't know what size wood I'd need at the moment. Gotta be better. All right, Vulcan. Have a good, uh, good rest, man. Hope things get better for you. Wait, is this the way I came? Okay. Put it on this way. There's a pulley here. I think there's a handle missing from this crank. Hello? 
Are you the mailman? No, I'm Freddy Fish. Go away. I'm waiting for an important package. Oh, no. Uh, that's the Maybe belt buckle. handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. Hey, Luther, what's round and purple and pokey? It is it on me? No, silly. It's a purple sea urchin over <gasps> there. Oh. Who would have guessed? I wasn't afraid. It's an old shoe. Nice. It's a bone. It's just a pile of junk. It's an anchor. It's an old tire. <laughs> I don't think we can get past that shark. <laughs> Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best buddy, Luther. Hello, I'm you. That's silly. You're not Freddy. No, you like the letter U. Just you? Is it short for something? Yes, it's short for Uriah, Jedediah, Euripides, Algernon, Fortescue, Forsyth, um, um, oh, now what was the rest of it? Um, we'll just call you you. Most folks do. It's addressed to E. Tippett. Hey, you! That's your wagon over there, right? Yep, it broke down, so I'm delivering the mail on foot. Takes a little longer that way, though. It looks like the wheel on this wagon has fallen off. Maybe we can fix it. The wheel looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. Are you ready to start? Nope, I don't want to play mini games. Okay, so we gotta. Okay. Oh, is this not a path? Okay. Oh, this is guy from the last one. Good evening, ma'am, sir. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut Company, third largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go. <gasps> Therefore, I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. Here's a purple sea urchin for you. Thank you very much, young lady. Which of my two fine products are you interested in today? The delicious bubblegum or the very useful wheel nuts? We'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts, please. Certainly. Now, the nuts cost three purple sea urchins, so I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans, and you can have your nut when you've paid me the other two purple sea urchins. <laughs> and may I say that a fickle fit wheel nut is really an excellent investment. Yes. Yeah. Here's another purple sea urchin towards our wheel nut. Very good. Let's right. see. I think we need we need a triangle one, right? Here's the last purple sea urchin for our wheel nut. Can we have it now? Of course. You can select any. This one looks good. Thank you. No, thank you. 
Let's buy another whale nut. I don't think we need one. Friendly reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clams. Pay up pronto. What's this? Oh, that's, uh, that's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. Pretty nice poem. That's an awfully strange poem. Good evening, sir. May I interest you in... You got the 20 clams you owe me, Gil? Uh, not exactly. How much is not exactly? I've got a few purple sea urchins. You know, my dogfish needs an operation. Don't worry. I I've got a really big deal uh, about to go down. Yeah? What is it? All I can say is, it's really big. I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, it is. It's real good. <sighs> oh, boy. A real 10-gallon hat. Thief! Gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't know there was anyone under there. You could have knocked! On a hat? Alright, keep on moving. This, this buoy looks a little tired. It's barely floating. Look, it's a suitcase. <laughs> Phew! It's no use. It won't budge. Yo, Emerald. Yo. We made it. I knew we could do it. It's a crank handle. Didn't we see something a while ago that needed a handle? What nope. was it? Totally didn't see it. Remember. Well, we'll take it with us. Totally didn't see it. Look, Freddy! A purple sea urchin! Alright, you can buy more stuff. Any other ways to go? Oh, okay. Excuse me, uh, Mr. Shrimp's the name. Used to be Sheriff Shrimp, but now I guess it's just plain shrimp. What happened to the sheriff part? They took my gold star. You can't be a sheriff without a gold star. Folks won't respect you. Maybe we could help you get your star back. Yeah. I'll tell you what, this county would owe you a great service if you did. Nice. Wanted black bin clipper by the sheriff and the county for the discourteous offense of starfish. Brandon. That will fix that. Hey. We did it. It's fixed. And it'll stay on there, right? We don't have to use any glue or anything. Careful there. Don't ever mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer. Spoots him something awful. What's he got against glue? <laughs> this is a seahorse. My 
package at last. Mr. Tippett, do you think we could have this old mailbox door now that you're not using it anymore? Sure. Take it and leave me to Hermit in peace. Yay, we got one part. Just what I always wanted. Uh, was the other thing this way? No, it wasn't. Uh, I'm gonna go this way. Oh, yeah, yeah, Are you ready to start? Everybody needs a mailbox door. Yep. It's true. There! It fits perfectly! Now we've got a handle on that sail. <laughs> Here, let me help. Luther, you are. Oh, that's better. So what did that do for me? Hey, look! This place is filled with water now! What is it actually going to do for me, though? It's pepper. Really? Gross. Huh? 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 Bless you. Oh, do I need a screwdriver to get that stuff oh, off? Okay. Boy. See another purple sea urchin. It's okay. I'm starting to see how things connect, but still some things I don't really understand how I'm supposed to get them. Screwdriver for that, so we're gonna have to help build the thing, which we'll probably need the wood. All right. What about cake? Will you eat cake? Here, try it. But it's chocolate. Yeah. We probably use that to help the guy that's making food. I was thinking we could take this cloth to give him, but... Help him. What's in the stew? It's mostly kelp root and tumbleweed branches. Plus, a few secret ingredients. There's three cups of paprika. Isn't that kind of a lot? Not for a super stew. 
You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you can say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about five feet by five feet ought to do it. Uh, uh, I was gonna go seven by seven, but I'm glad I didn't take it. This should be useful. Just gonna store that away real quick. How did you do that? <laughs> That's my special secret. Nice. They even called it out. Um, keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. Sign it. You know who. And deliver it right away. It's urgent. Yes, sir. Oh. <clears throat> oh, hi, kids. Hello. <laughs> These games made, uh, late 90s, early thousands. Early 2000s. Here, can you use this piece of wood for your floor? Say, that looks about right. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. Nailed it. Nice. Our work here is done. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. Now that your floor is finished, do you think we could borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks. All right, before I forget, I'm going to go grab that, uh... I'm probably going to have to come back here anyways, but... We got the metal for the belt buckle now. Uh, I could buy the gum. I don't know what I need that for. Buy your pack of bubble gum, please. Excellent, excellent. Super rubber bubble is the most durable gum on the market. You won't be disappointed. Now. The gum is two purple sea urchins, so you can give me the second one right away. Or, if you like, I can start a gum layaway plan for you, and I'll give you the gum when you pay me the balance. That's fair. Here's the other purple sea urchin for the pack of gum. Splendid, splendid. Here you go. It's my last pack. Maybe even the last pack in the entire hemisphere. You've made a wise purchase. Thank you. No refunds. Nice. Hey, I've got an idea. Is it coming back down? I don't think so, Luther. Oh, bye-bye, Bowie. Look, Luther. This suitcase had a three-ton anchor on top of it, and it's not even scratched. Wow! What's in it? Oh. Okay. Was this... This was a minigame, wasn't it? I thought there was a mini game over here. I don't remember what this was. Here. 
Can you make us a belt buckle out of this? That was the crank? Oh, gotcha. <gasps> sure. Just bring me a letter to put on it, and I'll get to work. Here, this is for the belt buckle. <gasps> okay, stand back. My best work! All that's missing is a belt! Here you go! Nice. Thank you! Yeah, thanks, Mr. Torso. Please, call me Nelson. That's me talking to myself every night. I'm just like, just please go to sleep. Okay. Did you try singing this little piggy? Like I said? Well, try it. Listen, I gotta go. Customers. Hi, I'm Freddy. And this is my pal, Luther. Well, hello. Eight Fingered Phil. Dr. Piano Ology. At your service. So he's Dr. Phil? Nice. Boy, the water sure is warm today, isn't it? It's gonna be hot water for those wrestlers when we catch up to them. <laughs> uh, okay. I just realized something. Give that to him. Here. This suitcase looks a lot sturdier than that bandana. So now I just need to get a gold star so I can get the hat. Gobi, I'm at my wit's end. These hogfish are driving me crazy. They won't eat or sleep. And they're so noisy. Where'd they get the accordion? I don't know. Did you try telling them that story about your trip to Akron? That always puts me to sleep. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm going to have to call Mr. Big again. Oh.
I think going up here. Luther, you stay here. Okay, never mind. It's probably your second favorite Fr Freddy Fish game. Eh, it's pretty good. It's, uh, it's pretty, pretty good. Gotta find out where this gold star is. Or how to get a gold star. Would you like a piece of gum? Oh, I'm just too worried to chew gum. It's just about feeding time for the hogfish, you know. Let's say dye the hat, I'm pretty sure. Would you like a piece of gum? Oh, thanks, but I got a bum tooth right now. It must be all the soda. Okay. I don't know who to give the gum to. How would you like a piece of gum? Okay, but only if you've got bubble balm chewy coral flavor. That's the only gum I chew. Ours is super rubber bubble. Oh, well. Thanks, anyhow. You're welcome. Apricot are my grandsons. Nice. What if I can give it to the... He doesn't seem like the chewing gum type. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Everyone's a chewing gum fan. Oh. Forgot about... This guy. Aha! Kobe. Really fills you up. Ought to keep that shark busy for a while. Yeah, actually, he looks very happy. I like this gold starfish. Let's take it with us. It's just like the one the sheriff was talking about. Cool. Here, I believe this is yours. My starfish! Yahoo! I can't thank you all enough. Anything you need, you just ask. How about that nifty 10-gallon hat? Sure, I won't be needing that old thing anymore. Now, if you'll excuse me, there are laws to be enforced. Oh, just give me that too. Oh, uh, no, I didn't mean to skip that. <sighs> Some rustlers took my cousin's hogfish. Have you seen or heard anything suspicious? Pepper thing, I don't wait to What do you think? 
It might be a little big for you. But do I look like a ruffler? Oh! Yes! Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Wait, I'm coming with you. Good thinking, Luther. Well, put on the other oh, stuff first. This is a rustler's only area. I can tell you're not a rustler. You don't have a big old rustler style belt buckle. You don't have a fashionable. There we yeah, go. This ought to fool him. Now, let's rescue those hogfish. Yeah. Come on, Luther. Let's try to get past the guard. Hold it. This is a... Well, howdy, fellow wrestler. Ahem. Howdy. I reckon Mr. Big must have sent you to help us out with the hogfish, right? Um... Poor Mori, he's having a terrible time with the hogfish. Well, go on in. He'll be glad to see you. Thank you. We did it! Shh! We did it! We're inside! Which way do you think the hogfish are? Well, I think I hear squealing coming from... Ah! Hey! You two aren't rustlers! What are you doing here? Um, we were just leaving. You're not going anywhere! Mr. Big will know what to do with you! Nobody knows the trouble I've seen! What do we do now? It didn't even budge. Nope, this door is definitely locked. Well, I'd suggest we uh, move the cannonballs. Freddy, look! I think there's a hatch under here. You're right, Luther. It is a hatch. The rustlers must not have noticed it because of this big pile of cannonballs on top. Maybe we can... There's got to be an easier way to do this. We'll never get it open with all these cannonballs on top. These are heavy! There we go. I was gonna say, do I actually have to move each and every one? But no. Does it? All right. We're not missing. We know just where we are. What do you think that's doing here? The big barbell? We're supposed to get to work out with it. But it's too crowded in here to use it. That's too bad. Yeah, but we don't really want to work out anyway. Maybe we can get the hogfish out through this hole. The hogfish won't fit through there, but it looks like you and I can. Nice. He's gonna leave. I guess we'll have to work out another way to get those hogfish out. They'll need a bigger opening. I wonder what this does. Boink. Neat! I wonder if this will bring the anchor back up. No? Okay. Interesting. I think I see something behind this thing. 
You're right. I can't see it very well. The rudder's in the way. I think we have to move this rudder if we're going to get that thing out of there. Did you hear something? Like a creaking noise? I think it... Ready fish for smash? Aw, uh, yeah. Look at this neat hook! Do you think maybe it belonged to a pirate? I don't know, but I bet it will come in handy. Why don't you hang on to it? Okay. Oh, that's not what I don't really want to do. Whoops. Not gonna do me any good. So there's any other ways to go? Drop this. Look out so why not? Below. This will never reach the bars while the anchor is down. Oh, uh, I'm dumb. If we attach this, where's that up? This is a nice, dirty chain. Then we dropped the anchor. That yeah, bar's already bending. Like, goddamn. How strong is Freddy Fish to pull that over there? This should free those hogfish, Luther. Prepare to drop anchor. Ready, Freddy! Fire away! Boop. Hey, they're free. What? No! Come back! Please come back! We're going home. The food's terrible here. What do we do now, boys? Yo, what's up, James? Did I play the Puppa games? Uh, I'm gonna be playing through them tomorrow. You're under arrest in the name of the law. I'm gonna be playing the Putt Putt and Pajama Sam games tomorrow. Yeah, I don't see any law. Then I suggest you turn around real slow like. It's Sheriff Shrimp. Yeah, and just about everybody in town, it looks like. Youngsters, that was mighty fine work apprehending these two. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the rustling. Yeah, that's right. They kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. I never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. <laughs> when the wrestlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. Well, which one is it then? Nelson, when we first came to your shop, you were working on something that wasn't a belt buckle. Oh, uh, <clears throat> it was a barbell. In fact, it was that barbell right over there, wasn't it? Well, uh, yes, as a matter of fact, it was. I thought it would be good for the hotfish to get some exercise. A healthy body is very important. Are you saying I'm fat? Oh, no. Whoa. I just, um... Fat shaming. That means now 
house and torso is Mr. Big? <laughs> That's right. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm afraid I am. Just buckles hasn't been doing too well, you see. Since folks don't need very many buckles around here, I thought I might have better luck as a hawkfish rancher. I spy games? Well, uh, no, but I had like I spy you books. You ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. Yes, yes. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers, but we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out at my place. I'm glad that's worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. It's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Yeah, I spy fantasy the most nice. Yours is a five gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh boy! Now come on, you two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso. Tie a lasso. Oh, give me hey. a Do you really 